So a little while ago, I got this cool putty. It has all the normal properties of malleability that you would expect, but in addition, it's magnetic. You can see how this putty interacts with the magnet. The stronger the magnet, the stronger the effect. The putty is attracted to the magnet and will eventually engulf the entire thing. It is a really interesting demonstration of the magnet's magnetic field, which can be seen as the putty moves around the magnet. One of the most interesting things I found about this putty is that it can form a slight polarity. That is, the putty can become specifically attracted or repelled by one side of the magnet, either north or south. This polarity is caused when one portion of the putty is continually exposed to the same side of the magnet, as, over time, each piece of the putty orients itself to be aligned with the existing magnetic field. Despite its impressive ability, the putty works on a surprisingly simple basis. It is made of magnetic particles which are spread throughout the putty. You can see these particles by themselves by exposing the putty to a magnet for an extended period of time, which will pull the particles closer to the magnet and create a formation around the magnet's field. Or, you can use a stronger magnet to pull the closest ones right out of the putty's base. Each of these individual particles are attracted by the magnet and just pull the putty along with it. This is the same concept used in ferrofluid, which is a magnetic fluid, ferro being the Latin word for iron. It is essentially just a liquid with particles of iron or something else magnetic suspended in it. This magnetic putty's interesting composition can be imitated to make your own at home. To do this, first you'll need to make the putty's base. Mix three four ounce bottles of school glue with one and a half tablespoons of baking soda. Next, add 3 tablespoons of contact lens solution, then mix and knead the putty until it forms the right consistency. After you have made the putty space, you'll need to add small particles, containing either iron, nickel, or cobalt to make it magnetic. I chose to use black iron oxide powder because it is easily ordered online and it gave the putty a nice metallic gray color. For this next step, I strongly recommend to go outside, because iron oxide powder can be very messy. Now, simply knead about a teaspoon of the iron oxide into your putty base until it is all thoroughly mixed together. If you can, add more iron oxide powder, because the higher concentration of iron, the more magnetic the putty will be. But I found that after about a teaspoon, the putty won't absorb any more of the powder. Lastly, make sure to keep your putty in a baggie when you're not using it, so that it doesn't dry out. Now you have your very own homemade magnetic putty, or maybe, better named, ferro putty.